what's up you guys it's Lauren and yes my hair is crazily different from last video um that's all explained in the last couple of videos why but today is national health day apparently so I thought that I would do a video about one of my many conditions that I have no makeup no nothing I just woke up and decided to do this so the one I'm going to be talking about is my patellofemoral pain syndrome Oh god, the telly's on in the background. Ugh. And that I'm gonna just go through. I made I made like a little crib sheet of stuff that I want to talk about. So basically, patellofemoral pain syndrome is caused by the cartilage around and under the kneecap getting worn down, roughening occurring by like if you do a lot of sport, or the softening of the um, cartilage under the kneecap. So um basically it mostly occurs in teenagers, manual labourers and athletes which is quite, well the manual labourers and athletes you can kind of see why that happens because um, obviously they're working a lot, they're putting their legs through a lot every day but with the teenagers I think it's a lot to do with, this is just personal experience, I had a growth spurt when I was younger like I wouldn't grow like normally I wouldn't just grow a little every day or like a bit every week no I used to like stop growing and then I'd have a growth spurt and then I'd stop growing and then I'd have a growth spurt and um, I think that's what caused mine so um, how I realised something was wrong was quite scary if I'm honest it was one of the scariest things that has happened in my life bearing in mind I've had a heart operation so it makes no sense to me but this really scared me a lot more than that because I always grew up with that that's a different video like I'll talk about that another time but I found out I needed to get checked because I was at school and basically our form room which was our class was a form room here there was a couple of toilets and then like a little landing bit where you could sit and then another form room my whole class was sat in this tiny little space and we were all sat cross legs and normally it doesn't call didn't cause me any problems but I went to sit up and as I pushed my hands down to get up my knees um the one was fine but it locked into place and the other one had literally instead of being like that under my kneecap it just went and it didn't completely pop out so I didn't have to go to hospital which made me so happy but my friends had to literally sit there with me mid-air like this just because I was screaming in so much pain so a couple of days after that I went to the doctors they um I put how was I diagnosed I went to the doctors I saw I can't remember the name of my doctor I I have a normal doctor but I'd never see her so the doctor I was diagnosed by I can't remember who he was but I I stupidly wear wore a skirt to this which I thought was ridiculous afterwards but he literally got me to sit on the sit on the bed in the doctor's lie down and he um pushed my legs up and down and round and all this and they kept popping and clicking and gross and he was like well basically you've got femoral fem <laughs> <laughs> you've got patellofemoral pain syndrome and I was like oh that sounds horrific great thanks but um, he was like there's a bunch of exercises you can do like get a tennis ball and squeeze it between your knees and blah 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 and I thought bugger that I'm not doing any of that I'm lazy as hell and I regret that decision now because I've had this since probably about 2007 early 2008 and I've kind of found a few ways to cope with it that aren't medicines or the actual physiotherapy I'm supposed to do because that shit's expensive and I'm poor and I can't do it so basically what I do is on my on days where I'm not going anywhere or I'm gonna wear like baggy trousers or like jeans I tend to wear these things which are so attractive these are my knee supports they are the sexiest thing alive but what they are, they, they're they basically like really tight material and they're sewn up in the back so this bit will sit under your the back of your leg and it just holds everything into place so my kneecap can't keep moving, it can't keep popping but these are the best ones I found I did have a couple that had like metal bits in them and that just pushed my kneecap upwards when I walked and that was horrible but I also use this one which is amazing but I only have one which annoys me, I need to find another one it's a bit of a softer material but it's still really elasticated like I'm trying now that's hard but yeah so these two are the only two I use um as I said I don't do physiotherapy because I literally can't afford it 
and I think I'd be in too much pain to begin with and I'd give up anyway. So, yeah. But um, I've also heard a lot of people say that swimming helps a lot because it's not as harsh of a activity than obviously going running and stuff like this. But that's basically that. And then I've got, how has it affected me? It's affected me hugely because when I was in secondary school in my first year, which in England is year seven, so I was, what, 13-ish, give or take, um, probably about 12 to 13, um, I had the biggest dream of becoming a sprinter and heading into the 2012 Olympics and smashing it and everything. I used to run everywhere. I used to train quite a lot. I used to horse ride. I used to swim. But now I don't do any of the above. I can't run long distances anymore. I can't even sprint because my knees just collapse and they just give up on me. And it sucks because that was like one of the biggest dreams I've had was to become an Olympic person. But it can't be helped. Like So basically now the most activity I can really do without it straining my knees is going up and down the stairs. And even if I do that too much the next day, my knees feel absolutely horrible. They just feel completely loose and disgusting. So I'm still figuring that shit out. But a couple of top tips is don't sleep with your knee braces on because then when you take them off, you feel all jelly. Um, don't sit cross-legged. She says that she sat cross-legged. I do what I say, not what I do type deal here. Um, if it gets too bad, put your knee braces on, use some ibuprofen gel or the ma medicated gel or heat warming gel because that is amazing, that shit works so much. And instead of like showering when your knees are hurting, take a really hot bath. Try and do this like if you're willing to wash your hair because you're going to get greasy. But like just have a really hot bath and one of my favourite things to do is get um, a bath bomb as well when I'm feeling super crappy about my knees and stuff because... It sucks. But um, since I've had this diagnosis, I've been to the doctors a couple of times seeing if they can give me my physio instead of me having to go private and pay for it. And they're like, nope, can, no can do. I don't understand why. They've never told me why. But so I've just been fending for myself. But I really need to go and have a checkup if I'm honest. I'm a nightmare. And get my hips checked as well because I think the same type of thing's happening with my hips. And I've noticed that my hips start popping or they lock and they get all tense and it's horrible. So, yeah. But that's basically all the information I, I have or that I can give you and my tips. It was a bit of a rambly video. But I thought I would uh, share one of my uh, ailments with you guys for National Health Day. I don't know if that's just, like, in England, but there you go. It's a thing here, apparently. So I will see you guys soon-ish, maybe. I always say that. Mm. But I will see you guys in my next video. No promises when it will be up. I love you so much. Bye.